So now let's talk about the pot. This is the thing that the tea leaf goes in and contains the water and the tea as they go through their alchemical process of getting a brew. So as you can see, there are many different shapes, sizes, materials uh, of pot that you can go with. And as I mentioned when I was talking about kettles, um, when you get go down this rabbit hole of tea, the material that you're using, this is clay, um, glass, porcelain, the materials that you're using will have different influences on the tea itself. So these all become kind of different paint brushes that you can choose to use when you're painting the picture of your ceremony. Now, I recommend just starting with a simple glass pot like this um, for a number of reasons. One, it's very inexpensive. Uh, two, it's actually nice to be, when you're starting, uh, to be able to see what's going on inside the pot. Um, you can see the color changing. You can see how much uh, a liquid to tea leaf ratio is going on inside the pot. It just gives you some more visibility. So it, it's a good learning tool, I think. And also, again, glass is energetically neutral, so it's not going to add anything or take anything away from the process. Um, as far as sizes, you know, uh, bigger teapots like this guy is, I think this is probably about 300 milliliters. Um, this is going to be used to serve, you know, four to six people. Uh, a pot like this, which is 150 milliliters, is going to be great for drinking on your own, up to three people. I also, I, I do, I've done four with this too, but, you know, it, it's kind of pushing it. Um, so this pot, I believe, is probably like 180. And again, so this is a perfect size. You can drink on your own, uh, or you can drink up to four people with this, serve up to four people with this. And uh, we're going to get into this in a future lesson about amount of tea, uh, tea leaf and brewing. But if you want to adjust your usage of this pot for just one person, you'd use less leaf and less water. But this is a very versatile tool to start with. I used this pot for a year before I got anything else myself, and it was perfectly fine. So just a hint to get at uh, the level of depth you can get with regards to materials in pots. So pots like this, Yixin clay, uh, versus a porcelain pot, one thing, one reason why Yixing is nice for certainties is that clay actually absorbs. Um, and so over time, you end up seasoning a pot like this. So for example, I use this pot for a lot of the type of tea we'll be bringing this course, Liu Bao, uh, Pu'er, uh, black teas. But I wouldn't use this pot for scented teas because that scent would get absorbed into the clay and then it could potentially influence teas that I brew in the future. And that scent would come in because it was stored in the clay. Whereas porcelain, uh, you can brew scented teas in this, like white teas, oolongs, because it's not going to absorb the, the flavors from that tea, and therefore it's not going to matter over time that you've brewed scented teas in this. I can brew those teas in this, and I can also brew Liu Bao in this. Um, and since it's not absorbing that, it's not going to affect any of those teas over time.